Hi and hello once again. So we are on our problem 7 on parameters of the line under lesson 4 transmission and distribution. So let uh, let us read the problem first. So what is the GMR or geometric mean radius of a 7 strand conductor if the radius is so 1 millimeter of an individual strand? Okay, now to answer this, okay, I have here already the uh, figure no, of that seven strand conductor ah. and this is seven strand and we will assume that each of these conductors are identical okay so for this we need to get the geometric mean radius or ds or self distance of this strand or bundled configuration so this is a flower configuration i i uh, <laughs> I usually call this in class as a seven strand or a flower configuration. So, in order to uh, to uh, uh, analyze this, we need to number all of the individual strands here. Let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now we have here. A formula no which is the formula for your GMR so this I recall formula that n here is the number of strands okay so in this case the formula is n squared or the radigan of the nth root of the product of, of n terms so it means then when we uh, have this no this the solution Okay, in an equation form, that will be 49 distances, okay, under the, the root, okay, so to have a, a uh, to check the answer if that is correct, you need to have 49 distances, no, uh, under the root. Now, I will not go to details that the real no, interpretation of this is D11, 12, 13, 14, 17, and then go to the, to the 49th distance. So we will have a hard time there. So since this is just a refresher, we will have a shortcut method or an alternative method, a quicker method to, uh, to uh, solve this problem. Okay, let us have no, the, uh, uh, the first one. So you have seven distances. Of your okay ds so you have seven so please take note no just a recall your ds there is 0.7788 of r of a solid since you have one solid strand so it has a cell right so you have 0.77 times r or re raised to negative one four <clears throat> excuse me now you have seven distances you still need to have 42 so where are the other 42? So what I will do is I will use no, the uh, diameter. So here, okay, I could say this one, D12, which is equal to D23, etc., is twice R. So here, you need to have all the, oh, sorry for that, have those distances there. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this one, another one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 distances. So, this is also equal to the reverse, right? This is also equal to D21, which is also equal to D32, etc. So, if you have 12 times 2 distances, you have 24. So you have 12 twice r of the 24 distances there. So you have 31 distances now. You need to have 18. So another one is this 4r here. Okay, distance 1, 4. You can still recall now on the recording, which is 1, 4 here. And then 2, 3. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 5. And this one, huh? Uh, 6, 3, right? So, how many distances this 4 are? This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, right? 
So you have here uh, four or so three, you have six, right? So one, two, three, three times two, six. So four or you have uh, six. Now the uh, next no uh, distance here is simply this, okay? So this distance, no, if you can still recall, this is six two, I think. Okay. So I call this the Israel's triangle. Yeah. That distance. So this distance, I could say this triangle here. Yeah. That Israel triangle. Okay. So the question is, if we know one distance, which is this distance here, I could say this is uh, 2, 6. 6 and 2. So that distance 6, 2. We need to compute. Now, now, the question is how can we compute that? Okay, we need to isolate a triangle. Okay, so what is that triangle here? Okay, this is your blue here. This is the distance. So I need to have another triangle here. I could say this is a 7, right? This. Okay, all I want to do is to have that distance defined. This is distance. So I could say that is a 6 to 7. Okay, I will use zoom. <laughs> 70%. So it means we will okay, zoom no, the uh, Israel Triangle 627. So it will become like this. Okay, definitely this is node 6, node 2, and node 7. And this is very self-explanatory. Okay, this one is the radius. This is the twice r, twice r. Now, a little bit of uh, uh, trigonometry that to get this distance here, which is this x here, which is twice x. So, d 62 is twice x. But the question is, what is x? Now, x can be computed here by having the square root of 2r squared, the hypotenuse minus r squared, right? Okay, this is r squared. So hence, when we compute this, choo choo choo, square root of 3r, right? That's square root of 3r. So it means that d62 is twice of square root of 3 times r. So when we uh, uh, count all of those lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means 6 times 2 is 12. So it means we have 2 square root of 3 of r and then you have 12 so checking 24 plus 6 30 plus 7 37 plus 12 49 distances it means correct a big check so hence what you will do is to simplify no the uh, 49th root here in terms of r so I will give the floor to you to a little bit of algebra. The answer here is the GMR of your uh, seven bundle in terms of R is 2.1767 of R. So chipips kapati. So as long as you know a little bit of your algebra and then you know how to manipulate those points and lines. You can solve directly any GMR no, of, uh, of a certain band, bundled, bundled figure. Okay? So there are many uh, figures that you can anticipate. So you can anticipate this, a former board problem. Okay. A diamond shape for strand, right? Or even this, right? 
is three strand horizontal configuration even a five banded olympics like this so using this reference that uh, we use you can get the gmrs of every bundle configuration here okay let us move forward to another problem which is problem number eight stay tuned hi and hello once again so we will uh, continue our discussion on problem number eight under uh, the parameters of the line on lesson six transmission and distribution so let us uh, read the problem first problem number eight a three-phase transmission line has four conductors per phase that forms a square which is 30 centimeter in a side each conductor has a gmr of 0 0.957 centimeters if the gmd is 5.67 meters between phases find the inductance in millihenry per kilometer per phase okay this is the solution so in problem number eight is a three phase three wire four banded square so if you can still recall this is the banded square configuration okay and this is one conductor so based on the problem here it has a 30 centimeter in a side which is also consistent here okay thus we can go you know, to the solution of this problem but here we need to have the gmd first okay so the gmd is 5.67 and the gmr of this configuration it depends on ds so based on the problem we have ds is a 0.957 centimeters so in this case just recall okay your ds4 bundled as 1.09 fourth root of ds times d raised to the cube okay in this case okay we can uh, substitute fourth root of uh, 0 0.957 they are they are the same in terms of uh, uh, unit times 30 raised to cube please take note no the 0 0.957 here this is already the 0 0.7788 of r so you do not need to uh, uh, do do anything uh, anything uh, any more calculations on this simply because that is already the 0 0.788 of r Okay, since we have this one for to root of 0.957, 30 raised to cube, it will yield to this 13.819 centimeters. So, you have your GMD already 5.67 meters by multiplying it by 100 to become 567 centimeters. Thus, we can now solve for the bundle configuration using this classical formula that we have already described many times. 2 times the negative 7, lone dm all over ds for bundle. Please take note, this is your gmd and your gmr respectively in henry per meter per phase basis. And thus, by substituting all of these values here, uh, 2 times the negative 7, lone 567 over 13.819 centimeters, the centimeters will definitely cancel out, having the uh, prescribed units that we need to... Uh, uh, we need in the problem which is millihenry per kilometer times 1000 meters one kilometer uh, one millihenry one times the negative henry and thus we have a millihenry per kilometer basis and thus you have 0 0.7428 millihenry per kilometer per phase so a very very easy for a very simple problem now inductance is already um we already end the inductance part, so let us move forward to the capacitance part.